G'day fellas, I'm here again. Oh, I'm always here, but you know. But that's besides the point. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use um, two pitch correction tools, which Image Line, I don't know if they still do it, but they had a little deal going on where you pay what you think it's worth. And the minimum amount was like 5 or $10. So $10 later, I got these pitch correction software or auto tunes. Uh, one of them is called Newton, that one this, this one here, and the other one is called Pitcher. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what both of them look like, and I'm going to show you how to use them, and how to correct a, a little bit of vocals that I just did, which are, it's nothing special. So this is Newton here, as you can see it's got the a very similar piano roll set up to FL Studio. So. You got your piano on one side, it scrolls from left to right when you press play. Infinite, so it'll just keep scrolling the whole thing or a selection. And then you got your pitch correction stuff here and you can do manual correction. And then there's pitcher here, which is uh it's hard to really explain, but you got your Oh yeah, I'll go through what most things that I know do. But yeah, pretty much you got the pitch, the input pitch, the output pitch. You can select the gender or sort of twangy toneness, how fast it corrects a pitch, and your fine tuning. Oh fuck's sakes, I gotta close the door. Sweet. Um don't ask I don't know what MIDI octaves or harmonos do. So yeah. And then you got your bypass. So just ignore the people talking in the background. All this other stuff. Uh, I don't fucking know what any of that does either. But anyway, so let's Let's just turn these off because I don't really want them in my master channel anyways. So, uh, first thing of all, you're going to want to capture your vocals. So, with a microphone. Now, you'll notice here that my in... What am I doing? That this in bit here is not selected. Now, this is because I'm not using ASIO for all... So, I can... It's so I can use my microphone and do this tutorial. But um, to select ASIO, just go Options, Audio Settings, which just close that, Audio Settings, and your Input Output here, you select ASIO for All. Now, I can't select now, otherwise it'll... Actually... Actually, I'm hoping that you can hear me now. But what I've done now, if I set it up so it uses my NVIDIA graphics card, or the HD audio output for the sound. And what ASIO does is it actually gets your processor to process the sound instead of your sound card because most sound cards don't have any processing capabilities or not much. And they can't do that well, which is why you get underruns. But that's that's for another tutorial. So anyway, if you want to select a sound card which has an audio input selection, um, I do use my Logitech G35s because at the moment that's all I have for my microphone. And I would show you me recording it uh, me doing the vocals and all that, but I can't because then you can't actually hear me, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So, with that said, I'm just going to turn this off. But oh yeah, when you select ASIO for all, you can actually select an input, which right now there's nothing here because my NVIDIA only has output and no microphone. But if I selected the Logitech G35s, I'd have a s these would be the microphone for my headset, which I can use, which I do use at the moment. So yeah, let's just bring it back to the G35s. And uh, when you select your input, or which microphone you're using, it will use that channel, that mixer channel, to uh, capture your sound, or to play your sound back through the master. So what you need is an audio capture device, or VST plugin, which in this case is Edison. So you just select one of these little things and go to Edison. If you have any other third party, or I don't know if there's any other ones that comes with FL Studio, um, use that, but Edison's pretty good, and then you just press record and it will wait for you to start singing and it'll start recording, but I'll show you how to uh, save it and then where to load it from, as you'll see, as you can see here I've got nothing at the moment, so this is almost a blank project, so here's the audio that I've just recorded, greetings young people from the internet, greetings young people, from the internet oh yeah you go it is hip school you go 
So yeah, that's just a very basic. I wasn't trying to sing particularly well or anything, and I did purposely try to sound a little bit off tune, just so I can show the auto tuning capabilities, which aren't automatic, anyways. But yeah, fuck it's. Hang on, it's getting a bit warm. Give me a second. Sweet. All right, so. Once you've made your recording and it's in Edison, you can't, as far as I know, you can't just put it straight into here or put it straight onto uh, the playlist. So what you need to do is save it as a sample. So I've already made one good, excuse me, good tutorial. You can just make a new file, save it in whatever location, but by default it saves it in Edison samples folder. Now to load up this sample, fucking mozzies. You right click on your pattern playlist thing, insert or replace, doesn't matter, and you want an audio clip. Click on audio clip to open up this little properties window. I need to undetach that, there we go. And you want to click on this folder which is pretty much the open button. Now by default it will put you in this patches folder for some reason. What have I done? Uh, yeah, there you go. So blah 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 blah. We just want to go all the way back to FL Studio 10. Uh, sorry, to Data. No, you don't. You don't want to go to either of those. No, you do want to go to FL Studio 10 and then plugins. Though, Fruity, Effects, Edison, Data, Samples. This world will... Yeah. So, tutorial. Now that I have that here, I can click on this little wave thing and it'll preview it for you. Greetings, young people on the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. Right, that's enough. And from here we can do whatever we want. Greetings, young people from the internet. For instance, we can just put it straight in the playlist and play. Greetings, young people from the internet. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to assign our vocals, whether it be just one vocal on sign or all the vocals, to one channel. Not to the channel that you recorded with, because that... From my previous experience, I just fucks shit up with Edison and other things. So right now it's going to be an insert two, and I'm going to rename this. It's selected. I press F2, and I'm just going to call it Voc or Vocals. And I'm going to start off with Picture. Now, Picture won't really do much, to be honest. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. Now, from that part alone, you might have noticed that it really doesn't like vibrato at all. Uh, vibrato is where you, you shake your voice, so... And because Pitcher and Newton are both pitch correction tools, they want to stick to a particular tone whether it be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, blah, 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 whatever. They don't like going in between. They don't like wavering or vibrato, as it's called. So you actually hear it jumping from F to F sharp or whatever it is. From the internet. Oh, yeah. You go. It is hip school. You go. Now what we can do here is, based on whatever song we're making, we can deselect whatever tunes we don't want to hear and what it'll do is no matter where your input is your output will either go from C to E because I have C sharp D sharp D and D sharp deselected if the bypass is enabled which are these little switches here then it will play them so just to show you from the internet oh yeah you go it is hip school. You'll go. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people. And as you can see here, it's just going up in octaves now. So it's trying to play every single C and nothing more. Uh, you can't right click on here either, by the way. So, just a C major. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people. Right here. You can also do fine tunes, but I don't usually play with that much. Now, this is a fun thing. I do know about this formant, which allows you to change not necessarily the tone of voice, but 
the gender as it's called here. But I don't really know of the correct way of putting it, but just have a listen. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. It is here for Greetings. I don't know why it's going in between using picture and not using picture. I think that's just my uh, thing being retarded. More than likely it is. Young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. Oh, yeah, I'm getting underrun, yeah. so that's probably it. Okay. So, in a nutshell, that's a uh, picture. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the speed. It is here to so, instead of it correcting a pitch from immediately from, say, C to F, it will slowly, uh, it'll ease into it or out of the pitch based on the speed. If it's on fast, it will just immediately go from C to F and you'll hear that jump. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from... So it just makes things a little bit nicer and more human-like. So, yeah, that's picture in a nutshell. Now let's get rid of that and replace it. Oh, I should have just... No, you can't. Yeah, you can replace. I don't know what I'm thinking. With Newton. And we're going to... Uh, what we do here is Newton doesn't do pitch correction within the playlist. Instead, you drag it from your audio thing and you slap it into Newton. Now this is really cool. I actually quite like this program based on the whole piano roll setup that it has. But you can see what tone your voice is at. And these little red lines are its easing properties. And you'll see that these the outlines of the rectangles are outside of the each thing. So that's the how centered it is, how much in tune or out of tune you are based on the closest tone of voice. So what I mean is if I move this center thing up it'll center every single note to the closest note that I'm trying to sing. Greetings young people from the internet. Greetings young people from the internet. Oh, yeah. Another thing that you'll notice straight away is that it keeps vibrato. It doesn't hate vibrato. My dog's trying to get in. Fuck's sake. Come on. But if you don't want vibrato, you don't have to. And that's what this variation thing is. So you can actually move it all the way back and it will straighten every single bit of vibrato up. Or you can really increase it. Or and yeah, you can play around with it. And Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. Oh, yeah, you gay. It is here to go. You gay. Another thing you can alter is the transition, which is this red line here. So you can turn it all the way off, and the tone will just snap straight from whatever to whatever. Greetings, young people from the internet. And now we start to hear that it sounds more robotic. From the internet. Oh, yeah. Now this transition's a bit like the speed property in a uh, picture. So yeah, the lower it is, the more sudden the note change will be. The higher it is, the more it will ease into it. But that's not. I'm doing something at the moment. Sorry about that. My mum's bugging me as usual. But that's not all we can do with Newton. See, we can actually alter each note. We can either double click on it and it will zoom in straight away. You can change the volume of the note, of that particular note. It's variation properties, which uh, is that little, you know, the little wobble, the vibrato. We can also change how it eases in eases out, we can even stretch it, shorten it, or change the note altogether. And this is where things, and you can also do your zooming just by clicking and dragging on the edges of these bars. 
but this allows us to do much more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to straighten everything out on middle, uh, an octave below middle C. Alright, so I couldn't really be stuffed doing all the smaller ones of the rest of it, but so now that I've moved most of the notes to an octave below middle C, let's play and see what it sounds like. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. Oh, yeah, you guys, it is hip cool. So what's happened here is we can see that it's trying to ease in from the previous higher note. But we can remove this somehow by moving something or other. You can't do it, i just completely forgotten how. I want to move that. Remove it. Oh, whatever. But that's not all you can do with Newton. Because it's in a piano roll looking thing, you can actually copy a certain selection of notes. Paste them, so control C. Control V. It's a pain in the ass to get these to move sideways, by the way. You just usually stretch them like that. And you can make chords. Um, you can do a whole bunch of other shit with this, but... And when you're done when you with your pitch correction, you can click on this, which sends it straight to the playlist. And there you go. Greetings, young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the internet. And at the same time, we can bring picture back in. Young people from the internet. Greetings, young people from the <coughs> internet. Yeah, you agree. It is hip cool. <laughs> but yeah, they start to fight each other a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's a very basic tutorial, and there's a lot of other things that I probably missed out. And but you know, I'm only showing you what I know. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it was useful to you guys. And uh, yeah, keep up the excellent work. Farewell for now.